is developer Jake and I'm going to be showing you how to create an anime character just like this that you can interact with, talk with, and um, yeah, I'm not going to be really showing you how to make this scene and everything, but I will show you how to create this anime character with the animation and you can create her or him to look however you want and this will also come with choices like as you can see right on the left of my screen, you can see that I can press either one or two to make a choice, so if I do two, as you can see it says it's a surprise I'm not telling or whatever. But yeah, let's get into it. So the software that we're going to be using to make this is something called the Vroid Studio. And this is basically completely free and it allows you to create whatever anime character you want in any way you want. The Vroid Studio download link is in the description down below and it will take you to a site that looks like this. Uh, if you're on Windows, download it for Windows. If you're on Mac, download it for Mac. And then just click the version and it should start downloading. And once it's downloaded, just click the download link right here. And if you are on a MacBook, you should see something that looks kind of like this. Just go ahead and drag this to the applications area and then double click Vroid Studio and it should start opening. And after you press open, something that looks like this should pop up. So I'm just going to go ahead and press female on this one and then it should start loading your character editor. And then it takes you to this. So this is basically a character editor. You can do anything you want with this. Um, so uh, middle mouse button, by the way, you can use the middle mouse button to look around. You can use the right click button to rotate and, you, and if you press shift and left click you can move the character around like this same thing that you can do normally with just a middle mouse button also you can look in and out by moving in and out with the mouse wheel first thing you want to do is go ahead and just edit your character a little bit um i'm just going to be sticking easy here and i'm going to use some presets so the presets are just like the very top thing right here on the sidebar and yeah let me just do some presets here uh sure why not i'll do like this preset or something it doesn't really matter because i'm just I'm in a tutorial here for you guys um, and you can change the color over here if you want to I'm just gonna make mine look um, let's go with uh, black is fine I guess I don't really care but yeah darker brown black that's fine and then uh, body uh, this you can change whatever you want with this uh, with the skin color that is so if you wanted her skin color to look like brown you can you can do anything like that but yeah I'm just gonna leave mine as default just to make it not confusing and then over here you have out on the outfit area you can change your clothes so um i'm just gonna make mine really default and do something like this and then yeah it looks kind of like yandere chan i guess uh and then of course if you wanted to change any individual part of it you can go over here and like press stuff like shoes and you can change that type of stuff as well also there's an accessories area where if you press add an accessory you can do things like cat ears um and then like rabbit ears and stuff i'm not gonna be messing around with this too much and since i don't want it all you have to do is just right click it and then press remove and then it goes away and then also in the look area you can basically change some of the things like the outline what i do with mine is i get rid of all of the outlines because the outline makes this type of white type glow around it and it looks really bad and especially the rim light i get rid of this i turn it all the way to zero on the intensity and i turn all these intensities down to zero now it looks a little bit better and yeah without that without if it did have like the rim light there it kind of looks like a little bit choppy so yeah i'm just getting rid of all of the intensities but yeah after your character is fully customized to how you want her to look just go ahead and press this button at the very top right and it's the export button in the middle and then press export as vrm which stands for vroid model then a few moments later something should pop up that looks like this uh, you can move her around, do whatever, see if you really want to export this model. In my case, I do, so I'm just going to go up here and press export. And then you can change some of this info around. Her title, I'm just going to be saying tutorial character. The creator, I'm going to put my name. And contact information, you can put your, inf uh, your email and stuff like that, or whatever you want. And for this, I'm just going to put 1.0.0. And then you can do anything you want here. Um, that doesn't really matter unless you want it to. And yeah, just press export right here. Next, you'll want to save it as something that we can remember. So for now, I'm just going to do my character because I, I know I remember that. And then make sure you choose the right destination for this. I put my downloads folder because it's right there and I know where to access it at. So then just press save. Next up, in order to make our character an FBX file, which makes it usable for animations, we're going to have to download Blender. Now, if you already have Blender, just go and skip this step to the next part that I have. But if you don't have Blender, this is what you have to do. Go to the link in the description down below that goes to blender.org slash downloads slash releases slash 2 dash 91. And then just press download Blender. And it might go to something that says download Blender 3.0, which you can just go ahead and press download. 
And then if you have a Mac, something that should pop up that looks like this. Just go ahead and drag it to the applications. And then once something pops up that should look like this, just go ahead and press open. Next, we have something here that says, that looks kind of like this. Now there's a cube which we can get rid of. So just go ahead and over here, press X. Now, as you can see, we have our scene. To move around the camera, just hold the middle mouse button and drag to zoom in and out, uh, zoom in and out with the middle mouse button move around just press shift and the middle mouse button and you can move around like this so now that we are in the blender though we need to get a few plugins so that we can actually import and export our vrm model as an fbx go ahead to the first github link in the description down below which should take you to something that says cats blender plugin and then go over to where it says code and then press download zip go to the second github link in the description and it should take you to something that says vrm add-on for blender go to code and press download zip next up inside of blender go to edit then press preferences and now we should see a tab here that says add-ons you're going to want to go up here and press install then go to the downloads folder and then find the cats plugin master.zip and then press install add-on and then do the same thing for the next plugin. So just go into install and then go down and find the VRM. Where is it? VRM add on for blender release dot ZIP and then install add on using a newly imported V-Ray model add on. We can go to file up here, press import and then go all the way down to the bottom and press dot VRM and then go to the dot. Well, wherever you actually uh, imported your VRM uh, person to. My person, I imported her to the uh, downloads folder. So she should be right about here and it says my character VRM. So I'm going to double click this. Now we have a character in here that looks a little bit like this. And the next thing we're going to do here is go close this collider area right here and then go to armature and then press this arrow right here. And we want to go down to where it says cats and then press fix model. Then press Command Z and now you should have your textures looking something like this. I'm not sure why that's how it works, but it kind of is. And then press export right here using the cats plugin. And we are going to want to press something here that says join meshes to, to try to reduce some of the lag inside of the Unity editor. Press OK and then press export again and then press continue to export. We're going to want to create a name for our character. And what I'm just going to do is do, uh, I'm going to say my my character fbx and then it's a go into your downloads folder here and press F export fbx now we're going to need to animate our fbx character and the software we're going to use to do that is called mixamo luckily we don't need to download anything though because all the software is on a website but just go to the link in the description down below that looks something like mixamo and then press either sign up for free or login now we see something a little bit like this what we want to do is press upload character and then press select character file. Now we should see something here that says my character fbx.fbx. Double click that to press open. And once it finishes processing the character, your character should show up here doing a little look around. I don't know why she does this, but yeah, if she is here, it means, or she or he is here, it means that your character is perfectly working fine. But if your character isn't here, that means you need to go back and redo the steps. And if something did pop up that's like red and it tells you that there's an error, Definitely redo the steps because you may have missed a part. So just go ahead and press next. I'm just going to press this over here and then press next again. Now, as you can see, we have a character here. Now is the fun part where you get to pick out whatever animation you want. Um, for me, I'm just going to do a dance. And then in the search bar here, I can just type dance and then it shows me all of these. Um, I get to choose any of these. So I'm just going to do like something and you, get, you can test them out. So you can just press it and then you can see your character is basically doing that animation here, which I don't know what dance this is, but uh, yeah. Um, and then uh, you can choose whatever you want, honestly, but I'll do the Macarena. Yeah, the Macarena, that's fine. And then, yep. And over here, there's a little tab here that says like Macarena dance or whatever your animation is. And then you can like change these things around. So like if I change stance all the way down, you can see her stance changes. Overdrive is basically just the speed. So now she's going extremely fast. Uh, but I'm just going to change these back to how they originally were. And then once you've picked out your animation, which could be literally whatever you want, press download. And then what we want to do here, this is very important. Go to format, press FBX for Unity, and then do with the skin and press download. 
what we need to do first of all is install even more plugins so right here um I, you do have to be using unity 2019.4 lts or later which uh, it does say right here um yeah you need to be using unity 2019 or later um in order to use this feature but uh yeah just go ahead and press this top link right here that says something.unity package then it should start downloading next up you're going to want to press import package custom package it should take you to your downloads folder and then go to the first one that it selects or whatever it is and it should say something like uni vrm then a whole bunch of stuff dot unity package then just press open and then a little window should pop up that looks something like this just go ahead and press um import and everything should import once that finishes importing you should have a whole lot of subfolders wherever you imported them at um but up here as you can see there's something up here that says vrmo which should be at the top of your screen so go ahead and press vrmo or vr vrm0 and then press import from vrm0 and this is you should be doing this inside of a folder which i'm actually going to do now i'm just going to make a folder and call it character because once you import it it creates a whole lot of subfolders inside of wherever you imported it at so i'm just going to go up here again and press vrm0 import from vrm and then i'm going to go to downloads and find where my character.vrm is and this is the original character that we made and exported from the vroid studio double click that to press open and then yeah just do whatever you want here i'm just going to do save and actually just to make this extra clear what this is i'm going to do vrm and we're not going to be using this vrm file in the game but i need to make it extra clear that we have this here the reason why we are importing our vrm character is because we need the the is because we need the textures from our character and we cannot get these textures from our fbx character because the fbx does not come with textures so i'm just going to go over here and press one column layout and what i'm going to do actually is go and bring all of these textures that came on the outside of the folder i wanted it to go into and just select everything here and then i'm going to drag it down into where it says character down here then i'm just going to go in back to two column layout and yeah we have everything in here as you can see it did create a whole lot of subfolders but we see my character here and this character is the one that you did export from the vroid studio but we cannot animate this character because it is not fbx it's vrm so what we want to do is press import new asset and then go down to where your character dot fbx double click it to press import and now we have another thing here that has no textures, but it is animated and ready to go. So we want to go ahead and drag this into our scene. And as you can see, they are the same person, but one has no textures and the other one does. How we're going to fix this is by first of all going to where it says the three dots on the project window and going to one column layout. One click on your character that's animated right here that has the dance on it. Then as you can see over here, we have a whole lot of things that haven't got materials assigned yet. So what we're going to do is use the VRM materials area right here. And as you can see, we have a whole lot of materials right here, which we're going to use. I'm just going to lock my screen over here and drag this to make it a little bit bigger so I can see the full words. I'm going to drag the materials to their matching material area. As you can see right here, it says body and right here it says body. So they're the exact same name that they need to go to the exact same spots as the exact same name if that makes any sense but um yeah i iris right here i white right here and then if you just press apply if you want to see what you're doing just go ahead and press apply and as you can see your character right here that has no textures suddenly has some textures but she doesn't have all of them so we need to keep assigning them over here uh, face brow needs to go to face brow eyelash needs to go to eyelash or yeah eyelash <laughs> this does get a little bit confusing so once you have all of them assigned, just go ahead and press apply. As you can see now, our character has all the textures and you can get rid of the one that's sitting here T-posing because this one is not animated and we can't use her at all. We just, we only used her to get her materials or textures that she had, but this is the actual character that we're gonna be using. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger just to make it the same size as my player that's in the scene right now. And I'm gonna bring this tab back over and unlock it. I'm also gonna bring this back into two column layout to make things more easy to see and go back over here. If we press play right now and go over to our character, as you can see, we still have a little bit of a problem. Our character is not animated and she's sitting here and we can just walk through her and do whatever we want. Now this is a big problem. So um, in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how to animate the character 
now that we have our character successfully imported into Unity. So this was episode one of how to create your own anime character for free, and we'll see you in episode two for how to create the animations for your anime character. I've been Developer Jake, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.